What's up YouTube? It's your girl Key and I'm back with another reaction. Before I get into this video y'all, please make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a post. So, I'm about to react to my girl Lily. It says, I'm getting put out again. The hunt is on. Trying slutty vegan. Prepping for pain to champagne 22. Let's get right into this video. Messing with the intro. What up to my dolls? I am Lee Montalia, also known as Lydia Truly, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new and hey to my babies if you are true, y'all. Hey. First of all, it's March 3rd and Money Heights is dropping today at 3 p.m. Is Money Heights video lit too? You know what y'all just want to say one thing like anybody that's been following Lily like journey from the beginning I mean the true supporters man you can't say that you are not proud of her growth man like this woman has definitely came a long way I'm talking about from nothing to something for real like really in her bag I'm so proud of her like the money heist video she did that like I thought this was a new YouTube intro like oh Marketing on point though. A video. Lit. That was all. Yo, that joint is kind of giving like the all girl um squad money heist. Like if y'all watch Money Heist on Netflix, if y'all haven't, y'all need to go see that because Money Heist is lit. But when she was standing there like looking at the screen, she looked like how the professor was. The professor was yo. That's wild. I'm so excited. That shit was lit. And I in the car and we getting ready to head out. We about to go um view this first house. Um, this is our first house that we viewing together. We don't roll around looking at houses and stuff like that, especially. Okay. Yes. Let me show her. You want to be on the camera? Hey, y'all. Hey, girl. <laughs> so, we finna I go know look her. at these homes. She was at Pain the Champagne, but I didn't know who she was for real. I just know that her and Lily look alike, and she kind of favor Glamazante for real. So, I really thought that was Glamazante people's, then I figured out. Is Lily Peoples? I'm like, yeah, all of them resemble each other. I don't know, man. It's crazy. Homes, you guys, and um, I think it's just one today, but hopefully we can go over to more. And I'm actually gonna take her to a neighborhood that I saw some homes in okay. that um I wanted. And then, y'all, this is kind of crazy because I didn't get to explain. Y'all know that I was looking in the Atlanta area, the Houston area, and Chattanooga area, but right now we looking in the Chattanooga area until oh. you guys get to go over to my main channel and I'm taking y'all on this whole home buying journey with me because I've never done this before. This is new to me. It's a lot of information and I know just like me, if y'all looking for information like I was, you like, I need somebody to relate to in the way I needed to relate to the people I was looking at in order to get this information. True. So I'm no professional. Period. Yes. What does that mean? What is that? <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> so let us get to this house and we'll be back. Six bedrooms, four. Four, four. Four full baths. Okay. Two car garage. Y'all, I'm coming back to the vlog because we just came from seeing, we just came from seeing three properties and the properties look really good. But it's like now at, at this point, the pressure is on because I'm literally driving. We on the way to go see another property and my landlord just texted me and basically said that I have a 30 day notice because she about to sell the house. What? 
<laughs> nah, like, first of all, she out of pocket because you can't text me no 30 day notice. Like, sis, I don't know what they do out there in Chattanooga, but anywhere else, you cannot text me no 30 day notice, man. You about to go down to the courthouse and give me a proper 30 day notice for real and tell me I need to vacate that way because, like, nah, a text message is not formal. Like,. Some of these landlords be doing what they want to do. I feel like she doing that because she really wants Lily to buy the house. Like, I feel like this landlord really want her to buy the house. And it's like, nah, like, nah. She trying to make that money. She trying to get that sale. That's sudden like, though. I'm excited. That, that just made me very excited. Like, okay, good thing you did what you did last month to get where we are this month. To where we actually looking at houses and we know what the budget is and what we got to do and this, this, and this. But what if I wouldn't have did that? What if you wouldn't yeah. have done it? Because you only did it, but just because, like, nah, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, I'm in the process of looking. It was like, well, let me see what y'all say. Yay. And then now it's like, good thing you wanted to see what they had to say or what would have been. Living in a freaking micro Yes! <laughs> but literally, me and my kids would have been in a hotel or apartment or something. And then, but even so, y'all, a lot of the homes that are for sale right now are like not ready or, you know, under contract or it's still a certain amount of time. So I'm probably still gonna have, if I don't buy the house that I'm in right now, mm -hmm. I'm still gonna have to get out. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> you try to talk. <laughs> if you're doing something, you talk about something that sirens, it's like your spirit guy is trying to get your attention too. It can be telling you that you're on the right path. Lord, please, Lord. Because what? I pray that they be okay moving we'll there. Yeah. Um, like, we still got 30 days to get out. 30, 30 days. I moved in there March, I mean, April 28th. So okay, but she gotta give me a written thirty. She gotta give me yeah, a written. Exactly, and like also the thirty day notice. Not even written, like they got. She gotta get that from the courthouse. Like I don't know how they do, in Chattanooga. Like I'm saying, but some landlords be janky. They just be doing whatever they wanna do, like not doing what they should do. But nah, like nah. So text you know, message. Put the house on the market or the thirty day notice for you to be out. She's saying to vacate. And then she was like, she giving me the first deal that if I want to buy it. Nah, see? But I knew it. She really want her to buy the house, bro. And it's like, that's wrong. You see, people really be janky for real. Like, they really be doing people dirty. Like, she been living there all this time, paying the rent, everything. You get your money, you straight. And you want to sell a house. Like, I get it. That's how it is. Real estate, y'all. Like, if you don't really know about real estate, you don't really get it. But... It's like, wow, like 30 days of notice, like you really trying to sell the house that bad. Like I get it, but you got to give me a notice, sweetie. You can't just text me. I mean, it would literally be, I would have to be buying it to flip it. Yeah. So it's like, that. Is that that's a good idea. Smart. Is that something that I should be doing? Because I know that it was sale. It's a good neighborhood. It's a nice house. It ain't a lot to do, but I will have to get a person to come out to see if they can move that wall because I don't want that. I want more of the footprints that we've been walking in. Okay. But I feel like that that is a good starting home for somebody. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath. It's a nice home. I feel like it would sell pretty quickly. Yeah. Um. But it... I mean, that would be like a quick little slip. It would. It would. It definitely would. I'm I would. Like, I ain't even going to cap to y'all. I would do it. That's a good idea that Lily came up with. Like, I would definitely make a profit off that house. Like, if she know it's in a neighborhood where it's dope, listen, I can put this on the market. It's going to sell quickly. It's a nice neighborhood, three-bedroom house, nice house. Why not? I mean, that would be a good first flip. Like, I don't know if Lily flipped no houses yet. I don't know if this would be her first property, but that would be a good idea. Like, that's steady income. Like, 
Yeah, I would do that. I would do that. And if she flip it, as far as it's different ways that you can flip properties. I'm not gonna go into detail on that. I did a lot of like research on like flipping properties and stuff. I'm big on that, so I know like a bunch of different ways she can actually make money with the house. But that's a good idea. I would do and it. That'll be the only way. I would do that it. We can live there. So basically, it'd be like I would. You be buying, buying it to live there right and now. get it fixed up. Living in it. Redecorating it. But how long do you think that would take? That would at least take like a month or so. Depending on what she want done. It depends on if we got the right contractors and yeah. stuff, the right builders. So the right like contractors. And then you have to sell it. Then I'll have to list it's it. It's hard to find the right contractors. Sales. Exactly. You know, before I could go get a new mm -hmm. car. But it still would be a good profit though. Be it would be a better pro it would be good because like she get that profit whatever she get from that sale put that towards a new home probably can get you something bigger you feel me like we really thinking about like the long-term investment of like which the ways it depends on the way that she does it too like long-term investment i would do it like that's cash flow straight cash flow Okay. Alright guys, so I don't think I picked the vlog up since earlier. I went to Moles, I dropped V off, and I'm just now about to leave from my accountant's office. I launched the Money Heist today, and I'm just so thankful. Like, y'all, the ticket sales are doing amazing. People are just thing. showing out and showing so much love, and I appreciate you guys like supporting my creativity when my brain gets to moving and gets to moving, and I put action behind it this time, and I didn't procrastinate, and I didn't get scared, I didn't say, oh, Period. such such and such and such doing this. I let all that doubt and all that fear go the fuck away. Like I pushed it down, I stepped on his neck, and I'm like, I'm doing this. And I'm going to do this for me. I'm going to do this for my kids because we have to, like, I have to, you know, set the bar. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. thank you to everybody who is supporting, who is shopping, LuantaLeah.com. Make sure y'all get y'all tickets to Money Heist. The webinar is going to be so, so informative. I just want to really help take y'all to the next level. And with this home buying process, Woo, honey, this is another freaking level of stress. And then on top of that, I'm getting put out. Like I'm getting crazy. put out again. How many times you get put out in less than a year? Like this is crazy. crazy. So we ain't going to stress about it. We're going to be blessed about it, okay? <laughs> and we just going to keep pushing because we know when things like this occur, it's just God saying, Hey, you asked for it, and I'm making it happen. You said you wanted this new house, you have no choice. You said you wanted this better credit, you have no choice. You said you wanted this business, you said you wanted this certain lifestyle, you have no choice. So get it done. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I'm doing, and I'm going to help you guys do it at the same goddamn time. At the same damn time. At the same, at the same damn time. But let me put my seatbelt on. I'm driving. I need to call Bryce back because he just FaceTimed me with his daddy. And he was saying he missed his mommy. So I need to call my baby back. And I'm going to talk to y'all in a minute. Hi right, guys. I am home. And yes, I have on a hat. And I have on my pajamas. I have to start straightening up this home because your girl got to leave. You heard them shorts. So... Hey, a little small now. <laughs> Look at me.
my memory running out, so I don't know if I'm be able to call. Girl, them shorts. Oh, let me get it. This is the wine I'm that trying thing, tonight. It's the Georgia Winery Muscadine, and okay. it is really sweet, you guys. Like, really, really sweet. So, I just got this little half a glass because it's, a, it's almost like too sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't really like sweet wine. Like, real, real sweet. I don't. Night, Can't be baby. real, real sweet. I'll try to show y'all a little bit of my process of tonight. And then I'll see y'all tomorrow for my hair appointment. <laughs> hey, baby. So, I am home. And I'm about to get ready to take Mariah her keys to the school. Because she needs to be able to come home and get her stuff. And I don't think I told y'all, but I'm having to rent a car so I can go out of town because like a week or so ago, I, well, no, it's probably been like a, two weeks. It's probably been like two weeks. I supposed to took my car to the Benz dealership. I've been going through a lot of stuff with my car and the car situation, but um, y'all know what I was going through before. But um, I'm about to, Oh, I had a drink in my cup holder and the cup spilled all in the heat and air system. And so my car just keeps pouring out heat, honey. And it's like 80 some degrees here. And I'm riding around in my car with my windows down and it's still going out heat. So I got to do something about that. However, I got to be out of town for the weekend because it is our event. So I'm about to go rent a car. Hold on. Excuse me, Lita. I already shit in my car. Well, it's just closed, but still. <laughs> shit, I'm outside. Like, get your shit. Get your shit out of my car. But I'm gonna go in here and grab this stuff real quick. Get out my keys. Take it to the school. And then I gotta pick up the we gonna get the rent car and then I'm um, um, gonna come home and finish packing. Let's just hurry up this packing. situation with my car earlier <laughs> oh it's hot as a motherfucker that thing was saying 83 84 degrees that's just mm. like no we too thick for that like look at yeah. this period <laughs> okay like yes we ain't got no boobs and boobs are sweating yes <laughs> my rolls was no. rolling <laughs> she's stupid <laughs> rolling yes. she's so stupid like AC blowing yes we got pineapple we got the grapes because we ain't have you paid all that I did. I ate a spinach fader wrap. The one from Starbucks. I meant to, but I, I recolored my wigs. Oh. These wigs be taking up so much of my time. Hey, <laughs> they really do. Whenever she not with me, she's doing a freaking wig. You take up too much of my time. Okay, do you need to stop anywhere? Do you want to get something? Or get something at Target. We're just going to Target. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we're off to Target, you guys, and then we're getting on the road. I don't even know. Hey. Send me the damn <laughs> Airbnb stuff. She gonna be the guy on her flight. They said ain't nobody checking in until she check in. <laughs> yes. Don't she get her super late tonight? At though? midnight. <laughs> and she ain't, she been having, y'all, Tay been so irritated all freaking day. Like, I just been literally having to let her ring. Because the girl is crazy. <laughs> and I'm drinking apple juice. <sighs> <laughs> Gotta go. I mean, bye. Bye. <laughs> hey guys. So we are now in Atlanta. We just came from checking into our Airbnb, and y'all, we got to the Airbnb, and basically, um, it was pee in the toilet, and somebody left their phone. So we don't know it's if the, the cleaning person left their phone. 
But even if somebody left their phone and whoever trying to get their phone, it's nighttime, you not coming back. Like, you going to piss in the toilet and you not going to flush the toilet. Like, you just trifling. <laughs> get your phone. Like, I'm sorry, you're not getting that phone because I'm not opening the door. So, no. Uh, immediately, it made anxiety creep in. And so, we had to check all mm. the ca uh, closets and shit. Because, you know, it was that story on TikTok about that girl saying somebody was living her Airbnb. Which, yeah. I didn't really understand that story. <laughs> because I watched it. She took about too long to get to the point. Yeah, yeah, that shit was just too much. Right. It was just like, girl, I would have been knew somebody was staying in my fucking house. Right. Right. Like, no. But, we're <laughs> not going to be having one of them cases go down. Yeah. So, Tay won't be here to midnight. We on the way to Slutty Vegan. I'm gonna go get something to Yo, eat. Yo, I wanted to and try it. I ain't even tried. Sloppy toppy, period. Okay. So, V is over here going over the menu right now. But the skies are clear. I don't know what degrees it is. And oh, it's 73 degrees right now in the city. So, it feel good. It's like, bitch. It's about to be springtime, which is my one of my favorite seasons. My favorite season is spring and fall. But the Airbnb we got is pretty nice. It's really cute. So I'm going to show it to you guys once we get back to the Airbnb. But we are hungry. Because the only thing I had to eat today was the um, spinach and feta wrap from Starbucks. And, yeah, that's it. So once we get back to the room, I'll check back in. And let y'all know what's going on. Or when I get my sweaty vegan, I'm going to show y'all what they look like. Because actually, this is going to be my first time trying sweaty vegan. Okay. We had it before. Mm -hmm. And which one you said you had? The uh, super slut. She had the super slut. I'm going to get super pussy slut. pussy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is oh, wait. You getting them with the pickles? Yeah. I want oh, pickles. Nice. Yeah. I don't know how to do that. That's some creative names so they came up with. I'm going to get pussy pussy. <laughs> and I'm going to show y'all what it is. And I'm going to bite into it. It still be having like ketchup mayo shit, right? I honestly don't think so because it's vegan everything. So unless they got vegan mayo, all the thing they, they got vegan they mayo. Come with is the slut sauce. Yeah. So maybe they got packets of ketchup. Slut sauce. Okay. They just put that on there. And I want to know what what is the slut sauce made of? What is slut. it supposed to tears? Tears oh. from slut. <laughs> Oh shit, I guess it got some of mine in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, ma'am. Tried to play me like I could park for real. Damn, this man's missed two really good spots. No. <laughs> that car could not fit. Not it couldn't fit. It could not fit. Please. Or you can't park. <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot of conversations about shit that couldn't fit. Oh, that's a major fact. <laughs> It's nice in there. I like the setup. I'm so mad, y'all, because when I was in Atlanta, I really wanted to try a slutty vegan, like, and didn't get around to it because I, I wanted to go to restaurants that was, like, restaurants you can sit in and eat. And when we was looking up slutty vegan, it wasn't, like, a place that you could sit in there and eat. It was, like, a restaurant you go grab your food and leave back out. And we was trying to mainly look for restaurants to go out and eat at. So, never even got around to Slutty Vegan and I'm mad. <laughs> Not really though because I'm definitely going to go back because I got to try Like, I got to see what the hype is about. And I love vegan food, so I got to try it. They got clothes in it, okay? Okay! <laughs> it's showing out. They lit. Oh, no. Can't 
Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> y'all, y'all seen them just going crazy. It was. Oh. I remember those days, man. Pretty much listening to Kanye. We like, damn, the song was lit, but damn. Church. Dude was going through something. He felt that. He did. Hold on. They started um, going in together. So. Okay, vegan fries. Okay. We're not even tasting no different. We can go. Yeah, party. vegan food be tasting like regular food to me. Potato is a potato. Potato is a potato. It's cooked in vegan oil, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. This is a loft. Go up the stairs. As y'all can see me. This joint nice. And once you get up the stairs, it is another bedroom. It's a loft, basically. So it's a bed. That joint nice. I feel like it's decorated pretty neat. Ceiling fan. Well, oh, I hope it's a ceiling fan in my room. Because if not, say I'm not going to have to switch. Because this will be basically taste space. It's a closet. So, so far, so freaking good. They came and got that phone. So, 
we pretty freaking good. I'm gonna get ready to finish my <laughs> slutty vegan. Oh shit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Tay probably gonna be, Tay probably gonna be downstairs because I need a fan. She be cold. Yeah, that's me. I need a fan too. I gotta figure this out. I'll be back, y'all. Hi, guys. Sorry. I'm at the Airbnb and I'm getting ready to do my makeup. Um, I'm gonna do my hair and then I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm not gonna do a lot because I'm just going out to the bar tonight. I'm not the bar. I keep saying bar. I be calling A little fucking light beat because I'm coming right back and taking this fucking face the fuck off and going to sleep. I was sitting here extremely sleepy, obviously, but I have to um, take a here in like an hour. She on her flight, so let me show y'all. I got on this outfit from Jeremy She. This is the leggings. Um, this the shirt is from Dragon She. These are the leggings. I just put these on. And I gotta see if I got my backwards because sometimes I be thinking the tag of oh, this nice. I don't know. All this good crazy day. Call in one. Okay, so that's for my food. But yeah, this look good. And I'm gonna show y'all what it look like. Okay, here, that's not how it works. I was supposed to go to Target. Can you guys see me? So this what it looks like. And it's very cute, honey. It's cute, but let me do this makeup because I really need to get this started. But today, overall, has been a really good day. I was extremely tired. Let me drink some of this thing I read. That'll probably make me feel better. I got a coconut red bull and I feel the pop open. I think it was that damn wine I hear earlier. You guys are fucking sleepy. But let me do my makeup real quick and I'll be back. Oh, look at Dana. Dana is so cute. Oh my gosh, she's a diva. Look at, I'm not talking about Like this. her mama. Glamazante, <laughs> a diva. Tay look exhausted. <laughs> just had to jump out the car, y'all. We was on this certain side of town, and she had to jump out the car at the light, and I had to do U turns and shit, and almost hit people to pick her back up because uh. we went to the final parking spot. It was crazy, and now I'm just starving. I feel like my brain don't it ain't functioning, and we still gotta go to the mall. At the light, turn right into the parking lot. Get your ass across this street. 
but we had our last little couple of stops and it feels good that we almost done that we not almost done you've entered the parking lot for your destination arrived those are really pretty and they are perfect gold how many we need? The other one's supposed to charge you for, like, grilled chicken. If you want extra. They have a lot of them bags, man. Yeah, I'm just trying to charge you for, like, a filet. And then I don't care about being. Alright, girl. Great. Okay. The bro just got out. <laughs> look at that. They look tired as fuck. We're making one fucking trip. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What up, ho? You look at me. I got a bitch, nigga. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. Yo, them gift bags, let me tell y'all. Them gift bags was lit, like. Those gift bags was lit, like. They really, let me show y'all this, they really, my fault, they really put effort into the gift bags like this is what they gave us in the gift bags y'all i got plenty of palo uh santo right here so i still got mine in the bag i did use it i used it in atl once we came from the event when we was at the airbnb gave us a little book y'all don't trip off the pink you feel me your girl is still pretty in pink you know what I'm saying? They gave us a nice little journal, write some stuff in. They had a little card in there, y'all. Paint the champagne, you feel me? You got this beautiful crystal. Y'all. I wish y'all could really, like, see this up close, like, in person. <laughs> if y'all know what rose quartz is, y'all know what it look like. So, it's a beautiful, beautiful rose quartz. And then you got the Palo Santo. Like I said, I already used it. So I was definitely like, I wasn't even expecting like no gift bag like that. Y'all ain't even going to cap to y'all. I was like, wow, like this is a nice gift bag. You know what I'm saying? Coming to an event like that, you don't really know what to expect. And I like the way that they did it. Like even right here, it got like descriptions of what everything is for. If you know, you know. If you don't, the rose quartz, the benefits is for love, compassion, acceptance, self-love, and forgiveness. That's what rose quartz for. The Palo Santo used to welcome peace, luck, health, harmony, and positivity. So I like Palo Santo like right after I like sage, let all the negativity out. And then I like some Palo Santo to bring that positivity and everything that I want to stay around me, around me in. Keep good energy and all that. So when I seen the little bag and seen this in there, I was like, whoa, I wasn't even expecting that. You feel me? Like they slid, they slid hard. Like they did their thing with them bags. Like I ain't gonna catch y'all. And I definitely, definitely, like, I definitely respect and appreciate them for that. Like, that was dope. I feel like that was the best gift I got from someone in a while. You feel me? Like, my soul child. Like, yeah. Them bags was lit. Bags was lit. Give me something to help me and my soul. You feel me? Mental. Number 15 is broke down to three cards. It is for each one of us, right? 
And so the first question was going to Destiny. So I put it like this. The, the commentary was like this. Everybody knows that you were that girl in the social media realm for your marketing. Congratulations on making your first million dollar year in entrepreneur land. That's a big deal. Can you give us some advice to master our marketing to grow our business? So she will talk about that. So 5.30. How long have you been there for? 10 to 15 minutes. You can do 10 or you can do 15. Whichever way we can go. And then 5. You need to be good with the bags. Two Libras. You got two different personalities, hey, Libras. You're always out, honey, but. <laughs> That's the end of that video. Comment down below and leave your thoughts on this video. Pain the Champagne was definitely a great event. I loved it. I enjoyed myself. It was lit. You feel me? I love seeing Lily. I love seeing Gramazonte. Everybody that was there was cool. You feel me? Everybody that, you know, I encountered and had any passing bys with, they was cool for real. Comment down below and leave your thoughts on this video. Before I get out of here, though, y'all, please make sure to try to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss a post. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.